What's up guys? It's Super Ray Dizzle. Welcome back. I'm so awkward. I never know what to do with my hands. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? What's up guys? It's Ray here. Welcome back to my channel. So before we begin this journey together, I haven't shouted out my art Instagram in a while. If you guys want to check out all of my artwork from 2013 all the way up until recently, as well as get some updates, behind the scenes stuff, and we're almost at the milestone of 50k, so if you guys want to go check that out, it's right here, and uh, I hope to see you guys there. Anyway guys, today I was thinking we can get a little bougie, you know, get a little extra, and check out some really overpriced, ridiculous art supplies. Yes guys, I am talking about the Karen... Karen Dache? Karen Dache. Hold on guys, I'm gonna need to Google this. Yes, I am talking about the Karen Dosh Neo Color Series 1 Wax Resistant Pastels, aka Glorified Crayons. So on the official website, these crayons, these 30 pack of crayons, run for $71. Not including shipping, not including tax. $71 for a 30 pack of crayons. Yeah. And if you think that is kind of pricey for some crayons, they actually have a gift set of crayons for $375. Oh man, that hurts right here in the heart every time I read that. So today guys, we are going to be comparing these elite crafted Swiss imported crayons versus the $1.77 pack of 32 crayons from Crayola. So today, guys, we're gonna find out, are these pencils gonna mow my lawn, take me out to dinner, throw my trash, do my taxes? We're gonna find out today, guys, if these are worth the $71 on their website, or 46 on Amazon. The Karen Dosh Neo Color Series 1 30 pack are imported directly from Switzerland. The highest quality pigment is soft and easy to work with, resulting in a brilliant color with exceptional covering power and excellent light fastness. Yeah, it drones on like that for another two pages. Nobody has time for that, so I'm just gonna throw up the highlights as to why they are so good. I'm telling you guys, these are like really bougie, okay? Like even the description was really bougie. Now as far as Crayola goes, the literal only two things I could find are one, it's preferred by teachers, and two, it's non-toxic. And of course that they smell incredible. God, I love that smell. But none of that matters. What matters is what's on the inside. And what's on the inside is apparently uh, a lot of loose extra pigments. Like, I was not expecting that, you know? Uh, weird. I think it's kind of melted onto the tray because it's not coming off even after I'm scraping it. Then I noticed that all the papers are kind of dirty from all that extra pigment. Uh, there's all kinds of weird dots on all the crayons. I just wasn't expecting that extra stuff to be everywhere. And not to be shady, but to be shady, <laughs> uh, Crayola doesn't have all those pigments everywhere, and it's not, co you know, covering the inside of the box. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that the other formula is a little bit more softer, but as you are about to see, uh, they perform very similar. But, to be fair, uh, the Karen Dosh is a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, you know. And plus, it has this really cool peely thing, so as you use the crayon, you peel it back. Like, how rad is that? God, I just had a flashback to childhood. It was so annoying to have to peel those off all the time. But yeah, as far as like the color matching aspect went, uh, it was pretty cool because a lot were pretty close. Of course, Karen Dosh has like better colors, better pigment, better pretty much everything. But I feel like for one dollar, Karen Dosh versus Crayola, Crayola is definitely holding a game of its own. The colors aren't perfect, but they're pretty dang close. Well, close enough for me, because your girl is cheap and would rather spend one dollar than seventy. So the left hand, that'll be the Karen Dosh, and the right side, of course, is Crayola. 
there is clearly a difference between the Karen Dosh versus the Crayola, but I was kind of expecting something a little bit more dramatic. Like, for example, guys, when I say more dramatic, let's compare a $2 pack of pencils to a 20. I mean, right off the bat, it's crystal clear which one is more pigmented. Are you with me, guys? Do you know what I mean? The kind of vibe I'm getting is stare at the two yellows for a little bit, see which one's a little bit darker, and from there determine that one has more pigments. And again, let me just say... $71. Ugh, that price, still giving me nightmares. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna do something a little controversial today, and that's that I don't have time to draw something up, so I'm going to create an image from something else. I actually did draw a whole entire image and I did color it in, but alas, uh, I ran out of time and the files corrupted, so that leads us to where we're at today. Tadza! This is my shortcut because I have to go out of town tomorrow to look for an apartment. Woo! <laughs> the left side will be Karen Dosh, and the right side is everybody's favorite, Crayola. My first honest-to-god thought was, oh my god, the black looks extremely similar. This whole thing is going to be so boring because they're going to look the exact same. But boy, was I wrong. Guys, I was like shook to the core with how well and easy and smooth the Karen Dosh layer on. I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just going to show you guys. I'm much more of a visual. But you know when you get Crayola and you layer on a few times, you know, you scribble, scribble, and then you get that weird, like, waxy, chunky stuff that just kind of, like, builds up? Yeah, no, this was nowhere, nowhere to be found on the Neo Color Series 1 wax pastels. And then, I don't know what was up with the blue for Crayola, but, like, man, do you see how chunky that is? It was... Oh my god, it was really bad. And as much as it pains me to say this, because I love Crayola, you know, I've been there since day one, but trying to fit that crayon into the little teeny tiny spot was almost impossible. The only word I can think of to like accurately describe it is the word feathery. Just not my style, you know what I mean? And of course, Karen Dosh was drastically more smooth. It was much easier to use. Uh, the time took way less because it was just like wah, one swipe and it was done. Okay, so I feel like my only complaint as far as like the performance goes is that they had like this weird like pigment explosion everywhere, uh, like way worse than the Crayola. And I think that's because they have a softer formula, like I said earlier. But other than that, these obviously perform much better. Now guys, the full HD in your face video does not lie. You can very much tell a difference between Crayola and the higher end crayon. But hey, I mean for one dollar, that's not bad at all. So if I had to pick which one I think honestly is worth the money, obviously you guys already know what it is. You guys already know what it is. Like, mmm, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, these crayons are absolutely incredible. The packaging, the fact that they're Swiss made, how nice the pigment is, like these are so, so, so good. But I feel like you could probably get this exact same thing from Faber-Castell or Prismacolor for a little bit cheaper. Honestly, the Karen Dosh was better in every single way, shape, and form. It's just that the price was not worth it. So guys, here are some dupes. Actually, a lot cheaper. <laughs> For $17, you can literally get the whole entire collection of crayons from Crayola. And these are easily accessible, and you've used these before, you already know what it is. If you were a professional artist, I would personally go for Prismacolor or Faber-Castell or a slightly cheaper alternative to the Karen Dosh. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on trying the Karen Dosh products. I really, really wanna try out the $500 colored pencils. And I'll let you guys know if I ever keep using these again. I probably will, because these are pretty incredible. 
And I would like to do a whole series based on expensive products versus the cheaper alternative, see if they're a ripoff, see if they're good. If you want to see that too, let me know down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.